What's up, everybody? It's Keefe from Ghost Cult Magazine, ghostcultmag.com, and I'm here with the one and only Michael Wilton from Queensryche. How you doing? I'm doing good. Thanks for having me. Yeah, man. Thanks. Welcome back to New York. Uh, we're here at Irving Plaza. Shout out to Irving Plaza yeah. uh, for the big Queensryche Fates Warning show tonight here in New York. Uh, the new record out right now is The Verdict, and The Verdict is It Rules. Uh, it's out right now on Century Media Records, and I'm, I'm happy to talk with you about the record today, man. Uh, killer album. Uh, really very rare when you find a band that's got kind of a legacy that's able to make a album that sounds just like them in their classic sound but also sound very modern and I wanted to start there sure I mean it's you know it's funny it's like people say wow that kind of sounds like old Queens Rake. oh well I guess there's DNA in the band that is Queens Rake, so maybe it does sound like Queens Uh you know I'm of just course. kidding, but it's no. It's seriously, we're we're a band that's that's touring all the time. We're trying to stay current. We're putting out new albums all the time, so you know we're just trying to keep the the Queensrÿche evolution going. And and uh, um, our latest album, The Verdict, is is made a big splash, and and we're out here touring on it. And uh, we got a great package with Fate's Warning, and it's a good time. But yeah, this this is. Uh, uh, a fresh release, March 1st, that it came out, and oh, it's it's really, you know, the fans have really decided to, you know, call this old Queensryche. Yeah, man, for real. And I think they have, I think this is a progression. They really embraced Todd coming into the band, uh, Conditioned Human was killer, mm -hmm. and now this is a few more years later, and just, uh, uh, it's nice to see bands continue to grow and evolve, you know, and, not stay yeah, the same. And I think, you know, you know, Todd has been with us now for seven years, you know, and it's it's amazing how time flies. But, you know, everybody in the band is comfortable uh, being in Queensryche and, and they've they've been swallowed by the machine and it sucked their soul. You know, so they're they're you know, everybody's on their A game and creatively, you know, we're in a great spot right now. Awesome, man. I love to hear it. Uh, tremendous job. I love the uh, production on the album, on The Verdict. This is one of the best sounding Queensryche albums ever. Uh, shout out to Chris Zeus Harris, mm -hmm. who, uh, if the people out there don't know, has produced albums by Rob Zombie, Hate Breed, Kill Switch Engage, and literally uh, hundreds of other bands. So I know this is your second record with Zeus. It is. Uh, what was it like working with him, and uh, what's like you know the process of going back to somebody you guys have like the um, comfort zone with, right? Yeah, Zeus, is he's the kind of guy that, that can take all your ideas and make sense of them, you know? It's, uh, whether it's, you know, 50% completed demos, guitar riffs, lyrics, whatever, he makes it all organized and, uh, you know, w on the verdict, we, we had probably 20 ideas and uh, we refined it down to 10, you know? And, and Zeus is the guy that has the vision and the organization and, you know, keeps us on schedule for the most part. Nice, man. Well, that's what a producer should do. And Zeus is also, he's also a lot of fun. Uh, I've, I've spent some time with him. He's a cool guy. So uh, glad that you guys went back to the well with him. That's terrific. Uh, I definitely wanted to also talk, you know, uh, one thing I think that people don't really think about uh, for a veteran band is, you know, the amount of work it goes into sort of keeping... Uh, a band together and uh, you know I know it's been much talked about that Todd played drums on the record mm -hmm. uh, and he's um, did a fantastic job by the way uh, mm -hmm. if you hadn't told me I wouldn't have known it just sounds like Queens right so uh, you know I think about those things as you guys you know sort of get on in time you and Eddie particularly uh, and Parker's been in for a long time so it's mm -hmm. like you know it's it's certainly not a new band except for Todd and he's been in for almost a decade now so right. it's, it's a challenge I think people don't really appreciate that uh, you know it's harder as the business evolves it's harder to keep a band together, you know? It is, you know, as you get older in a band, I mean, we've been doing this for 35 plus years, and, you know, people change, you know? They want to go down different paths in life, and uh, so, yeah, it can be, uh, you know, a stressful time, you know, trying to keep everything glued together. But, um, you know, now, Queensryche, this this uh, next chapter of Queensryche is, is hot right now, and we're... we're uh, we're, we're making a big impact in the world and, and having a fun time doing it. Awesome, man. Awesome. Uh, and uh, for promo for the record, uh, in addition to awesome uh, lyric videos and singles, I love the video. I'm going to say this name wrong, but The Blood of the Levant, or Levant, depending on where you're from, if you're from New York City and you say everything like Ant <laughs> and Antony. But uh, I love that video, man. Uh, it's really uh, artistic and really cool. Right. You know, we, we've done videos in the past where 
you know, they're conceptual, and, and the fans really want to see the band now in the videos. So this one was, you know, semi-conceptual uh, with us playing in the, in the and, and by the way, it's Blood of Levant. Thank you. There I did you say it right the first time. Um, so uh, taking a heavy subject matter and doing it in such a, a, a artful way and, you know, having a, a powerful live performance in it, that's kind of uh, what we were shooting for. We did this um, in... El Paso, Texas, actually. No way. Yeah. Cool. Um, you know, I think about all the, the sort of lineage of Queensryche videos, and as a visual medium, you guys were one of the first bands to really embrace videos and do these concept videos, very artistic in rock and heavy metal. And I always, it's kind of funny, uh, I think every Queensryche video has kind of like a similar sort of, that's obviously what the band is supposed to look like when they make a video, no matter what the video is. And I was thinking about this, I was like, if Queensryche had a filter on their videos, it would be blue. <laughs> like movies, some movies are shot with like a hue and a tint. I know that's a very random thing to mention, but I was thinking about it today, watching the video. Like, the, the, the filter for Queensryche is definitely a blue. It's like, very, like, I don't know if it's a Seattle thing or what, but it's It cool. could be a Seattle thing. <clears throat> um, we just want to rock. Indeed, man, indeed. But I love the video, and uh, great job. And again, uh, tremendous, tremendous album. Uh, is one of the highlights so far of the early 2019 is this, is this record, The Verdict. Um, so you guys have you know, this headline tour uh, with Fate's Warning, who's killer, and I'm super stoked for them working on a new record. Um, what else do you guys have in store for 2019? Mm. I'm sure a lot. Um, yeah, basically 2019 is completely booked for us already, So, and they're, they're already booking shows for 2020. Killer. Um, and uh, so, yeah, we have a, a possibility of going to South America uh, later in May. Um, we have uh, uh, going to Europe for a few weeks in, in uh, the summer and, um, you know, hitting some of the big festivals, Bloodstock, Vakken, all those. Um, and then uh, uh, later in the fall, we're doing the Megadeth Cruise, which is going to be fun. Some kick-ass bands on there that I love, like Testament, you know, and... Uh, um, and then after that, uh, I, it's either uh, another European tour or another U.S. tour. And then January, it starts all over again. Awesome, man. The cycle continues. Mm -hmm. uh, well, it's great to have you guys back and kicking ass and doing this tour and this record. This is a really exciting time right now. Uh, I do not want to lose the opportunity to ask you briefly uh, as we wind things down. Uh, always a band that's very keyed into sort of the legacy, as I mentioned at the top, and the history. Uh, big anniversary just passed. Big anniversaries coming up between uh, Empire and the warning. Thirty-five. Mm -hmm. Got to tell you, thirty-five years ago, I was I was a little kid when that record came out, and uh, so was I. You no, were. No. We all <laughs> were little kids. But uh, any any kind of looking back on that, any any chance to honor that uh, release? I know you guys still play songs from the whole career, but uh, any chance to honor that or uh, in any anything in, re in that respect? <clears throat> um, you know, we're we're a band that you know respects the legacy and plays, you know, the songs that people want to hear live. So, I mean, we're always playing songs from The Warning or Empire. And, you know, to us, that's, that's something that the fans really want. Um, if you're asking, you know, are we going to re-record or do anything like that, I don't think so. I wouldn't mind seeing some re-release vinyl, Century Media. I'm going to talk to some of my friends over there. Uh, love to see some maybe some updated vinyl or something or remaster yeah i mean the uh, um obviously it's uh different record companies sure, so, sure. Uh, you know but um you know there's always the possibility of doing some live uh live albums you know we've got a bunch of stuff in the archives yeah, from the last few years and um you know that's always a possibility killer man i love a live record from you guys that would be amazing uh, Todd crushes every night. Mm -hmm. uh, the guy's got an incredible voice, and you guys have been on an incredible roll. And I'm just really stoked for you. Uh, Michael Wilton, thank you for hanging out with Ghost Cult Magazine. I am Keefe, and yes. we are out.